So now we're going to have a look at another problem uh, and conduct multiple linear regression. In this problem from Francis, the dependent variable is English achievement by high school students and we're going to use four independent variables. Uh, the student's gender, which is a dichotomous variable, socio-educational level of parents, which is uh, their level of education, uh, frequency of English homework, so how often uh, and for how long students do English homework, and finally how much attention they pay in class, where each student has been rated by uh, the teachers. So we'll start off doing a standard regression. Here's the data, uh, dependent variable and the four predictors. I'm going to draw at least a histogram of each of my variables so that I know roughly how it's distributed. Uh, now if you know the names of your variables you can use syntax to um, add, uh, create each of the histograms. If I go utilities, variables, I can also dump the names of the variables in here. So I've got English achievement. Of course, sex is a dichotomous variable. SEL is socio-educational level. English homework and level of attention played in class. So I'll run each of those graphs. So they start here. English achievement is roughly normally distributed, that's pretty clear. Uh, we have roughly equal numbers of males and females. Socio-educational level is fairly spread out with no obvious pattern, but uh, given the spread in the data that should be reasonable for multiple linear regression. Frequency of homework is a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but again the spread uh, is not too bad. And finally, attentiveness. There are several students who are given the maximum score, but other than that, the data is roughly normally distributed. So this data is not perfect, but it's probably adequate, especially given a reasonably large sample size, 242. But I will want to check the rest of my assumptions as I go through uh, the analysis. So now we'll go analyze regression linear, put English achievement in here and the four predictors in here. Statistics, I want descriptives, part and partial correlations, uh, collinearity diagnostics. I don't really need the confidence intervals at the moment. Continue. Plots for the residuals, histogram and normal probability plot uh, and plot the predicted versus residual scores. Continue. And uh, in save, I'll get Mahalanobis's distance. Paste and run the regression. So starting with the descriptive statistics, note that I now only have 150 cases, so there must have been some missing data. Uh, and we did list-wise deletion, so if it missed any one of these variables, then it's been left out. Correlations. Uh, here are the correlations between the dependent variable and the independent variables. And they are uh, moderate in this case and they are small and positive for these two variables and there's no obvious relationship with uh, socio-educational level. Each of these three are statistically significant predictors.